Hi America. I welcome my country. Welcome back to the vlog. Um, this time I'm going to Cuba. I just took a flight from DC to Florida and now Florida to Havana. So it's really exciting. Um, one thing that I will have to say that I had to deal with today is I didn't exchange all of my currency to euros at my bank, which I should have before I even came here because for some reason in my head I thought they would have the CUC currency that is used in Havana, but they don't. So just make sure you exchange all of your currency to euros if you're coming from the US, because you get taxed 10% in Cuba for using American dollars. So it's just like not worth it. But yeah, so I'm gonna wait uh, to get on my flight and then I'll be in Havana in like three hours, no, maybe like two hours. Yeah, I think it's like two hours. All right, see you guys. Good morning, guys! We're in Havana, and we just woke up to beautiful breakfast brought to you by our Airbnb. We're gonna eat breakfast, and then we're gonna try and catch a tour, which I feel like we're late for, but I don't know. We're gonna try and catch a tour to go around Havana and see all the sites, and then we're just gonna explore our neighborhood we're literally in the heart of Old Town Havana, so you guys will get to see everything that uh, Havana Vige, Plaza Vige, all of like these little areas have to offer. See you guys later. The capital is like over there. The big dome? which we're gonna go see. That's some point. But we're taking a break because this is a very long walk and it's like 90 degrees. Niggas is tired. And I don't know why I decided to wear pants. Like, I have like, it's too much, it's too hot, it's too hot. Central Park. Yeah. Central Park. And that's the cathedral over there. That was the capital where we just were. These are the plants. <laughs> <laughs> We just ate at the best place in the whole world. What's the name of it? <laughs> it's not over there. Esquina de Cuba is the restaurant. And you get so much food, a four course meal for only $15. And you can just share it with somebody. You don't even need to like have it for yourself because it's too much food. But we are stuffed and satisfied. Right? Right. Welcome to Plaza de Cristo.
we're about to do a horse tour of the tobacco farms and I'm so excited and I'm gonna try to film but I don't want to like drop my camera or scare the horse so I'll do my best. <laughs> In whole Cuba, you will find three different kinds of coffees. Arabica coffee, coffee tree and a sample of Arabic. Arabic, famous one world, very strong, with more flavor, more taste. Was founded by first time in Turkey. From Turkey goes to the world, to Cuba, came from Spain at the beginning. The tree grows between two meters and half and three meters, some 25 years. The coffee beans, they start to growing like this, on green color for all of them. And at the end they change to green by red on hard season. The cigar three part filler, bander, and wrapper for outside the cigar. Put it filling inside the bander. The factory they use the big machine, the name is pressed for cigar. Here not possible that they use this machine. They use one leaves the paper for press, press one by one by hand. Put the cigar for the paper for fries hour and 20, 25 minutes the sun for dry. The cigar good press the leaf for inside most dry. Now it's a special leaf for outside the cigar, the name is wrapper. Now it's cigar ready. Hey guys, I just wanted to take a second and uh, give y'all a little recap of like everything that we did in Venezuela yesterday. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly or not, but it was so much fun. Like as you guys saw, we went horseback riding in the tobacco farms learn about the coffee, the honey, we got to see the Indian caves, um, and it was just such a great time. But I would definitely recommend going during low season because there's not too many people, so you have a bargaining chance. Uh, we also got to go to this restaurant that's a little, like five minutes outside of the town center. It's like called like agriculture or something like that I'll like write it down on this video but um, it's usually really packed during high season but if you go during low season you can easily get a seat and it's literally farm to table like you're sitting out just in an open field area where just the restaurants like the small little building and they have a garden in the back and they don't even have a real menu it's just like uh, every day it's different based off the market and it was just so good but yeah it was a really fun time and i would definitely recommend taking a day trip out there it's so worth it uh we ended up doing a car like a driver to take us down there and it was about like 150 coupe but it was so worth it he stayed with us the whole entire day took us to all the different places um and brought us back and it's about a three hour drive ish from um Havana to Venice, but yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. I'll let you guys get back to uh, Cuba. Oh, our Airbnb. Look, you get to see the whole Havana. <laughs> 